What do you think is the common thread holding the narratives of the Marvel Cinematic Universe comprising Spider-Man No Way Home, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, and the Adult Swim animated series Rick and Morty? Indeed the anomaly of the multiverse. The protagonist travels from one universe to another through a mystifying electric field portal, transporting them to another dimension from the present. It is beguiling to witness the possibility of a portal leading to a different dimension and universe unfolding on the screen. To see our superheroes put into action their superpowers and effortlessly open a portal is fascinating. And just when we were convinced that such inventions are for cinematic experience only, scientists at CERN are working hard on translating that into reality. Today we are joining forces with you curious and disclosing what's actually happening at CERN. What if the biggest scientific experiment in human history wasn't just about particles, but portals? An experiment to understand the universe. Something else is happening. Something they're not telling us. But here's the chilling part. What if someone has already traveled through that doorway? What if the strange lightning storms, the magnetic anomalies, even whispers of human sacrifice, aren't just conspiracy theories but cover-ups? And what if a time traveler already changed everything, and this reality is the result? You've heard of black holes, wormholes, the god particle, but what you're about to discover is something far more terrifying and possibly very real. A portal, a parallel universe, a ritual at midnight, and a warning from the greatest physicist of our time. This isn't just a theory. This is the beginning of something much darker, where science meets sci-fi, and where the question isn't if a portal exists. It's what's waiting on the other side. Would you believe us if we told you that a portal to the parallel universe is operational 574 feet beneath the Switzerland border near Geneva, and that a time traveler has already traveled through it? Does it feel a bit outlandish to wrap your head around it? Well, created by the world's scientific geniuses at CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator, called Large Hadron Collider, aka LHC. This highest energy circular particle collider tunnel has a circumference of 17 miles. But what is it about CERN and the LHC that has led to people believing in a portal to parallel universe? It sounds unreal for the world we are living in, but is it impossible? Well, turns out not. CERN is responsible for identifying the W and Z bosons, the creation of anti-hydrogen atoms and particle detectors, and had scientists at CERN not discovered the almighty god particle on LLHC, the mystery of this collider would very well have remained a secret. The god particle, scientifically known as the Higgs boson, provides mass to other particles. It is this collider at CERN that has made people believe that scientists are working on opening a portal to the parallel universe. Here is why. Since its operation in 2008, the LHC has encountered unforeseen delays and setbacks. In 2016, during one of its experiments, the LHC caused earthquakes in Italy. This earthquake was a reaction to plasma being fired from the LLHC to a lab 250 miles away in Italy. Though CERN denied the claim, theories are rife that it was the lab's attempt at opening a parallel dimension portal, a wormhole across the universe. Not just that, the locals encountered intense drama of storms and lightning occurring right above the LHC lab when the experiment was underway. The intensity of the lighting and storms was linked to the LHC either opening the gate to the world of Satan or an extraterrestrial planet. 
a more disturbing video had surfaced from the CERN's Geneva facility, that of human sacrifice. You heard that, right? There was footage on the internet of a woman being stabbed by people in black robes. As seen in the video, a ritual is performed in front of the Nataraj statue on the CERN premises. After the video came out, the official statement read that it was just people goofing around. Well, if it were just ordinary people, how did they have the access badges hanging from their necks during the sacrifice ritual? How else do you explain that? The best is yet to come. The most mystifying theory rose during the initial setbacks with the Collider. The theory goes that a time traveler from the future was returning to the past, that is, our present, to destroy the experiment and prevent a mega disaster from happening. It is believed that he destroyed the magnets, which delayed the experiment in that he spoke languages no one was aware of. Doesn't it take you back to the plot of the sci-fi thriller series Dark, when Noah travels through the portal to the future and past to save the world? Come to think of it, if there were a time traveler, wouldn't he have already traveled through time? Wouldn't he have already altered the scientific course of actions to be dealt with? What if he had? And this is the altered reality he wanted us to see. The theories and probable explanations behind the Collider and the portal to another dimension are endless. But the aftermath of the experiment is distressing as are the consequences it might have on our universe that are threatening. The Collider, the largest machine in the world, allows physicists to test the predictions of different theories of particle physics. This includes measuring the properties of the Higgs boson and studying other unresolved questions in particle physics. The LHC performs experiments to understand the basic functionalities of the universe by accelerating two high-energy particle beams and colliding them once they reach a proper speed. It is this very functionality of the collider that has led to the fear of worldwide destruction. Probably because it challenges the theory of the portal to another dimension. Theoretical physicist Stephen Hawking had lamented the discovery of the God particle at the time. He even warned that the particle could one day be responsible for the destruction of our very universe. The theory surrounding Higgs boson doomsday explains that a quantum fluctuation creating a vacuum bubble will expand through space, whipping out the universe. However, scientists claim that it will likely take 10 to 100 years for this to happen. However, since the iron content of the space rock is higher, if the LHC were to generate a magnificent electromagnetic field, it would pull asteroids toward Earth, meaning we'd be doomed even before the portal is open. Another side effect is the formation of numerous black holes in the cosmos, in theory. The LHC could produce miniature black holes that still function as black holes. So if not the magnetic field, this will lead the Earth to collide with other galaxies or bring in content from outer space. Lastly, this particle collider experiment fundamentally has the potential to alter matter and destroy the planet. Since the miniature black holes will be trapped in the Earth's gravitational field, they will acquire more mass. Other scientists believe these miniature black holes could affect other dimensions and eventually lead to the destruction of Earth. Feels like the plot of the television series, The Three-Body Problem, a portal through the universe, communication with aliens, being conquered by the extraterrestrial race, and eventually the end of the world. We wonder if the LLHC will eventually open a portal to another dimension, leading to the total annihilation of our universe. Share your thoughts in the comment section below, and be sure to subscribe to you curious for the latest revelations in space exploration. Hit the bell icon to stay updated, and let's continue to explore together.